healthy forests are important for everything, including apex predators, wolves, bears and lynx. When you enter into such a forest, you feel immediately this is something special. The goal of our project is to create a national park in the uh, Carpathian Mountains, in the Fagarash Mountains, which would be the largest forest national park in Europe. The virgin and old growth forests of the Carpathian Mountains span seven countries, making them the ecological backbone of Europe. They are a stronghold for some of the continent's largest predators, including brown bear, wolves, and lynx. And Romania holds one of Europe's last remaining truly wild places. But climate change and habitat destruction are leading to a rapidly changing environment for both wildlife and humans. You know, I remember that was in 2012. We were up on a high mountain, about 2,500 meters, and then we looked down on the other side, and there was this mega clear cut. It was about 300 hectares. It's just total destruction, and it makes me really sad. Unfortunately, here, you know, there has been a lack of control, and so many areas have been just clear felled on a large scale. That caused a lot of problems with respect to climate change, all the way to erosion. The destruction of their forest home is pushing the area's large predators into closer proximity to humans, driving conflict. This is being amplified by climate change, which is altering habitat, food availability and migration patterns. Nu scap de el până nu ți-a păvăl, nu ți-a prăpădit o oaie, două, poate chiar și trei, în noaptea respectivă nu se simte în păcat. Se simt ceva, ce să zic, e o pierdere, e o supărare, pentru că stai în momentul ăla și tu chinui cu ele și amărăși cu ele, dă mișca să le treții și să, să îți mărește efectivul și pe partea cealaltă animalele sălbatice îl diminuează. După mine m-a ajutat cei de la Carpația, domnul Prunde cu domnul Cristof, care mi-au trimis băieții și mi-au asamblat un gard electric. These conflicts are a reality for local communities throughout the Carpathians and need to be addressed to protect the forests and the animals that call them home. So we are trying to mitigate these conflicts between humans and wildlife by basically doing three things. We are helping to prevent conflicts to happen, we are trying to intervene if they are happening and giving something back to people that have suffered losses. When it comes to working with the local communities, the most important thing is to listen to them. We can protect the forest area, we can protect the wildlife, but we never get a national park without the local communities. If properly protected, forests like these can be powerful allies in the fight against climate change as well as bringing more direct benefits to the well-being of local communities. A healthy forest cools the area, especially in the hot summers. It protects the local communities from uh, floods. At the same time, it delivers clean drinking water to the local communities. The vision is still to create something that is not then just sort of a piece of nature, but it is something that is a piece of nature in the benefit of the local communities. And this is really the challenge. For protection measures to work, the team need to gain a better understanding of the health of the forest. This includes getting to know the bears, wolves and lynx that call it home. Me and my colleague, we're out here looking for non-invasive DNA samples of a brown bear. That means we are looking for scat and hair. You can get precise estimations of abundance, density and also quite precise estimations of the magnitude of problem bears in a population, for example. That's actually very helpful because you can do decision making out of this. The biggest problem is brown bear at the moment, but I'm really hoping we'll find the resources and the patience and, and the wisdom to overcome this conservation challenge. And I really hope we'll have all the three species coexisting in harmony with the local people as well. Carnivores are key to maintaining balance within the ecosystem creating healthier and more biodiverse forests by regulating the number of prey species. A lot of people ask, why should we protect large carnivores? That's a simple answer. It's a part of nature. They have the same right to live here as we have. 
there has been some destruction already in these areas. But also seeing how nature can come back if we allow it to come back is really giving me hope and is also promising for the future.